Allied Air Forces in England go about their 24-hour-a-day, three-way job of reducing the enemy's fortified positions, railroads, and the beginning of his supply line, his factories. In darkness, the tempo is steadily increasing. The drone of the multimoded bombers roars to a crescendo. The first job is the enemy's gun emplacements, e-boat bases and rocket gun sites, which must be reduced as far as it is humanly possible as soon as possible. Almost as great a job and closely linked to the planned strategy of the offensive is the disruption of transport, the veins and arteries through which flow the stuff of war. Transportation centers, especially railway lines and junctions, are the vital spots in these arteries. Precision bombing stops the flow. The exploding flak looks like soft clouds as the great bombers pass through it. Soft clouds full of hot metal and sudden death that must be risked as part of the routine work of the airmen. Then the third big job for the flyers, knocking out the enemy's war factories wherever in all of Europe they are to be found. They can be camouflaged, but they can no longer be moved out of reach of these men who ride the lead-filled skies for the cause of freedom.